Thanks for joining this quick how-to screencast, brought to you by Salesforce Support. Interaction Studio offers two machine learning tools, Einstein Recipes and Einstein Decisions. Einstein Decisions leverages a continuous learning contextual bandit algorithm that allows you to easily make and return a decision on the next best offer, action, or experience to provide to a customer. Einstein Decisions leverages a library of the promotions and actions that you're looking to make a decision on that are uploaded to Interaction Studio via a feed or directly in the UI. These promotions and actions can be promotional banners, CTAs, and headlines, among others. They can include eligibility and validity rules to ensure each customer sees only the offers and actions they qualify for. They are also tagged using content zones to determine where the promotion or action will be applied in a particular campaign. In the Feature Engineering screen, you can configure the datasets that you wish to leverage for these decisions. These include contextual data, behavioral data, as well as custom attributes and model scores that you can upload from your offline systems. One of the most powerful features of this algorithm is its ability to use contextual data such as referral source, device type, geographic location, and even weather to make these types of decisions for first-time, completely anonymous visitors and ensure that they're being given an optimized experience from the second they start engaging with you. When a campaign is built in Interaction Studio, the business user selects the content zone that they want to return a specific promotion or action for which filters down the full list of promotions and actions to a smaller subset. This list is cut down further for each customer based on the promotions and actions that they are eligible for. The Einstein Decisions algorithm then looks at the promotions and actions for each customer and using a combination of contextual and behavioral data matches the right promotion or action for that customer based on the business outcome that you determine you're trying to optimize for. For instance, a click or a conversion. The system then returns that promotion or action over to the end channel for that campaign. Now that we've taken a look at all the decisioning capabilities within Interaction Studio, let's walk through how a business user would leverage them in a campaign. To do this, I'll be leveraging the Interaction Studio Visual Editor to simulate these on a website. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to be building a personalized homepage that incorporates a personalized offer and recommendations for each visitor. I'll also be targeting this to a subset of visitors that fall into the lapsed loyalty segment I created earlier. I'll start by creating a new campaign and leveraging a template from the template system. For my homepage banner, I'll be utilizing the Einstein Decisions template that's available here. Because this is my web hero, I want to select Web Hero as my content zone. This instructs the Einstein Decisions algorithm to only look for promotions that are available to be shown in that Web Hero space and then match for the right banner or action for that customer. I also want to ensure that I can test the Einstein Decisions algorithm to ensure it's giving me a lift over the default experience that's available. To do that, I'll fly open my A-B testing window and allocate 50% of my traffic to this new experience and 50% to the control. Lastly, I want to be able to target this page to my segment that I created earlier. To do that, I would click on Add Rule, select Audience, and find the segment that I created earlier. Now we can ensure that any user that qualifies for that segment at the time they visit the page can get an optimized banner and we can measure the lift over control to understand if this is actually giving us a lift when we have the banner personalized. For more information, go to help.salesforce.com or tap into the wisdom of our entire Trailblazer community here at trailhead.salesforce.com.